Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at this 200 watt foldable solar panel. What I find this to be interesting is um, you might see that it is from Bodega Coolers. So I do have quite a few Bodega 12 volt coolers and I like all of them. They've done really well, especially down here in Texas in this heat for over two years now. So I highly respect their coolers. I didn't even know they made solar panels. Um, Bodega did reach out to me and asked if they could send me this solar panel for review and I was kind of shocked that they even had this. So of course it kind of intrigued me a little bit. So this is it. This is their version of a 200 watt foldable solar panel. Now on their website this is going for $319. If at the end of this video there's any type of discount code or anything I'll put it down there in the video description if, if you want to go check it out. But at, as of right now I don't know if there's going to be a discount. But again 200 watts 18 volt solar panel. It's IP65 water rated. It weighs about 17 pounds so it's not super light for a solar panel but it feels pretty well made. But let's go over a few of the things. So up front, you're gonna get this uh, pocket, zipper pocket with some weather stripping around the zipper. And it comes with this cable, which I kind of like. It is actually hardwired into the solar panel itself. It doesn't pull out, which my last solar panel, I kind of had an issue with it doing that. But it's a decent length DC cable, around 10 feet. And hardwired into this cable is two MC4 connectors and a Anderson connector to use based off what type of uh, battery or power station you're going to be running. I'll show you how I'm going to connect this to my battery to test it, but this is what it comes with. That's it. Now, one thing to note on this solar panel, this little module, this control panel right here does not have a USB output. It doesn't have a power delivery output. This is just a solar panel to charge up a battery type device. You cannot charge anything with this solar panel separately. So keep that in mind. But So let me close this up and we'll get this thing opened up and get a few measurements and then throw it out in the driveway and give it a test. But to open it up, it's got magnet closures, which I like. You've got some grommet holes on the corner so you can actually hang this thing if you want but it's connected with a little piece of Velcro here in the middle. And of course, I'm gonna run out of room here on my, on my table, but real nice ETFE coating on this. So pretty durable type solar panels here. Now, wow, this is pretty long. <laughs> Let's see exactly how long this thing is from handle to handle. You're looking at approximately 87 inches long by 21 inches tall, I guess. So a pretty long panel. Now it looks like on the back, we're gonna get some kickstands also. And good, it looks like we do at least get one kickstand per panel, which I prefer. And they do have the elastic strap that lets you kind of adjust the angles, but I do like that it's got one, two, three, four kickstands for every panel. That means you don't have to have one panel kind of sag, and I, I don't like it when solar panels don't give you one for every panel. So we'll fold this booger back up. And overall, I think fit and, you know, fit and finish on this thing, it feels really well. You got your real durable, tight feeling canvas material all around. Yeah, gang, let me get this thing set outside and we will test out the output on it and see what we can get off of it. So stay tuned. All right, so it is around 10.30 now in the morning and we're pulling a little bit more. We got about 116, 117 watts, almost 10 amps, 12.3 volts. I might tinker with the uh, angle of this panel, but it's gonna be hard for you guys to see, but there's actually quite a bit of haze up there today, but um, I think I'm going to turn this just a little bit to get it facing more south, just a hair, and see if we can't squeeze out a little bit more out of this panel. And of course I am going to get some drop using almost 25, probably 30 feet with all of the connections that I'm using. So I am losing some efficiency with all of my cabling, but I've got to get this thing inside the garage in the shade. But. And that seemed to help actually quite a bit. I'm getting around 130 
watts out of these panels and all I did was kind of angle this panel just a little bit more toward the south to try to get up there to the sun but that actually did seem to help quite a bit and we're kind of still averaging around 130 watts now so cool my power station is about to get fully charged so I'm gonna have to switch power stations once this gets to 100 because I do want to test this panel out around noon or one when that sun is directly overhead but so far just tweaking that angle a little bit you can see the difference that that makes going from 115 watts to 130 watts 15 volts well I actually had to discharge my power station because that solar panel charged it up to 100% so I drained it down to 60% and we're sitting at around noon right now and I'm pulling 115 watts out of that solar panel and I did again kind of tinker with the angle but I can tell you that this solar panel, the front of this thing, is so hot right now. Now, it's over 100 degrees here in Texas. So these things lose efficiency when it's this hot. And you take that into account, you take into account almost 25 feet worth of cabling. You're going to get some voltage drop there. And I'm still right now able to get, again, 115-ish watts out of this panel. So... Okay, so we have reached, again, pretty much our peak, which seems to be around 130, 131 watts off of this 200-watt solar panel. Now, I did kind of change the orientation, so I do now have the panel laying flat on my driveway. And it's around 1.32 p.m., and that sun is pretty much... And you can see there, there's, there's some clouds up there in the sky, so... You know 130 watts off of this panel I'm not gonna complain too much let's make sure yep so it's hitting those clouds again but this is easily charging up this power station all right folks let's talk about the good and the bad of this solar panel the good so far um, the the build quality seems really robust it seems really well put together much like all of the other bodega items that I have, i.e. all of their coolers. Re again, really impressed with all of their cooler stuff. This solar panel feels like it's really well constructed. It's heavy duty. It's around 18 pounds, so it's not a particularly lightweight solar panel. And I don't mind that so much because I don't really backpack and really care that much about the weight. But it feels like it's really well put together. Now, this ETFE coating on the solar panel is really nice. This is going to hold up to a lot of the elements. You, this can get rained on, it'll be fine. Don't go throw this in the lake, but it can handle a little bit of rain shower on it. And I also like the fact that the DC cable in this thing is actually hardwired into this control module. I never even thought about that until I reviewed a solar panel a couple of weeks ago that, that plugged into that module because I kept tripping over it and kept unplugging it on accident. And it was kind of, of a nuisance, so I'm glad that this is hardwired into it. Now, kind of, this is a segue to kind of go into some of the, the bad things about this or features that are lacking that would make this thing awesome. And that is if this had some USB output ports on it, so you could charge your phone or whatever, a little spare battery directly from the solar panel. With this, you actually have to use this only to charge up a battery. You can't use this particular solar panel to charge up a phone or a laptop or a battery bank individually. There is no output ports on this control module in this little pouch here. So keep that in mind. A lot of solar panels, you can actually charge something separately directly from the solar panel. Now, I was only able to get 130 watts, and a lot of people might be looking at that thinking, well, this is a 200-watt solar panel. But there are so many variables to take into account, being the length of my cable that I was using from the solar panel to my battery. The temperature outside over 100 degrees actually reduces the efficiency. Did I have it at the exact right angle? Probably not, because I'm not a solar panel angle expert. But... I would have liked to have seen around 150 to 160 watts today. There was quite a bit of haze out there, and I'm not going to sit here and try to make excuses for why I wasn't able to get more than what I wanted to get because there's so many variables involved. However, I'll take 130 watts because I know that this panel is probably capable of around 150, 160 watts on a really good, perfect day. Now, with that said, this panel is a little over 300 bucks. 
if Bodega knocked this price down to below 300 bucks, I think it would be a good deal because I do think it's a good solar panel. So if you can get this on sale or with a discount, I think if you can pick this panel up for less than 300 bucks, I do think it is a good, a good deal. Backing up to one of the things that I do really like about this panel that I just remembered are all the kickstands. So having a kickstand on each panel really does make a difference in terms of being able to set it up wherever you want and it being completely parallel to each other while you have it set up. A lot of panels only have a kickstand on each end and then the middle kind of sags down and, and that kind of bugs me that, that, that they do that. But I like that this has kickstands on all the panels. But anyway, I think it's a pretty decent little solar panel. Again, I'd had no idea that Bodega Coolers made solar panels. They don't make them, but I didn't even know that they sold them. But I do think if you can get this thing for below 300 bucks, if you catch it on sale or whatever, I think it's a pretty good little option for your solar panel needs. So. There you go, folks. This is the Bodega 200-watt 18-volt solar panel. Take care. We'll see you next time.